Welcome back. We are here for Thursday Funder. A uh, big show for next event, which has come up very quickly, is um, next pay-per-view, which is Greed 2001, officially for the last pay-per-view in WCW's history. Um, although on this game, it looks like I will be moving over to next month into Spring Stampede as well. So, um, yeah, like, like I say, it's come along quickly. Uh, big stories. Goldberg is on very low morale at the moment. It's going to be difficult getting that back up. Um, from what I can gather, the only way to boost his morale is to either put a title on him, which I'm not doing. I mean, I could put the US title on him, but at the end of the day, he thinks he's too good for that. I, before I put him in a feud with Kevin Nash, I tried Buff Bagwell. He said, Buff Bagwell wasn't in his league, and Buff Bagwell is an upper mid-carder. So it shows you the ego of Goldberg. Um, so, you know, Goldberg and Nash at Nitro, they had a bit of a disaster match. Uh, it didn't go down well. So I think I'm going to try and build up Goldberg by just giving him some segments, some angles and some interviews. He's not going to appear at the pay-per-view because I need the best talent and for most over guys in the company at the pay-per-view. Goldberg's still very over, but he's been very sluggish with his performances, so um, he's not going to appear. So uh, a lot of the matches here are going to be card fillers, um, so Young Dragons are going to beat Free Count 2, which is Evan Courageous and Shannon Moore. Skipper and Romeo over Air Raid. This is just, uh, these are just matches to keep these guys active. Disco Inferno's uh, going to beat Wayne De Bruce. Uh, then we've got Filthy Animals over O'Hare and Palumbo. That will be for match at, um, at Greed. Uh, so the title's not on the line here but it will be at Greed, and they are feuding at the moment. I'm hoping at the end of this feud, uh, Rey Mysterio can really kick on and push up the card and uh, see how the other guys um, gain from this feud as well. DDP over Buff Bagwell, that's another match. Uh, that's another feud I've just started. So uh, because Lex Luger's in rehab, I had to end for Insiders versus Totally Baff. Totally buff. I had to end that feud off camera, which damaged all four guys' overness. They weren't happy about it. So Buff Bagwell and DDP are back in a feud. And we have got um, Kevin Nash, who's moved into a feud with Goldberg. Uh, main event, Dustin Rhodes and Jeff Jarrett are going to draw double disqualification, brawl to the back. They're going to fight for the US title at Greed. Um, other segments here include a one verse one angle involving Scott Steiner who's going to challenge Sting he's going to give Sting the chance to challenge him for his world title again at Greed they've not faced inside the ring since Super Brawl Revenge but Sting has been cutting a lot of promos on Steiner so that should be a good one Ric Flair's interview here keep him on the microphone um, hype of his match with Booker T interview with Sid Vicious he's feuding with Dusty Rhodes um, so we've and, and Goldberg hopefully he his morale will be boosted a little bit by giving him a slot here with an interview but I'm afraid I can't give him I can't stick him on the greed show uh, that's for the best of the best um, for guys who are in for best condition so let's see how we get on here uh, match quality, fantastic. Like it always is with a cruiserweight, it's crowd reaction, not great, which is a typical story. I didn't expect anything more. That went down well with Goldberg. Uh, very pleasantly surprised with that. Hopefully it'll do him good. Uh, again, like like first match, uh, cruiserweight's crowd reaction, match quality, it follows a little bit of a pattern. DDP, his, pro, his last couple of promos haven't, been as fantastic. Uh, Disco Inferno, Wayne De Bruce. I didn't expect a huge rating for that, but it keeps Disco active. And Wayne De Bruce hasn't featured for about a month. And um, Sid Vicious for fans like that, because there was a there was a point um, last month where Sid was really you know for fans were starting to reject him and um, Sid 
you know, he wasn't doing well. He was losing a lot of heat. I put him down to upper mid carder and he's and I made him turn heel and that seems to have done him a lot of good. O'Hare Palumbo, uh match quality great, crowd reaction hopefully will be a little bit more come uh, pay per view night. Ric Flair, another great segment by him, Buff Bagwell DDP. Um yeah, not great match quality. Were he a little bit sluggish? Doesn't say so here, but I think these two guys aren't fantastic um, on morale, but hopefully this feud will bring that back up. Uh, Sting, Scott Steiner, yeah, that went down very well. And the main event, fantastic. That's going to be one of the big fights going into Greed. 95% crowd reaction. Match quality, fantastic. I don't know how the overall rating went down to 83 when these two... The average is about 92, so anyway, much better show, 72%. Uh, I was a little bit concerned after the last uh, last Nitro, did we get 66 or 64%? It wasn't a great show, but we've redeemed ourselves here. Um, a good few solid segments here. Uh, Goldberg, Sid Vicious, Ric Flair. Um, those interviews really brought this show together um, and the main event as well. And the announcement of the main event uh, next uh, in a couple of days' time. Now, one of the options was to put Kevin Nash and Goldberg in a four-way uh, for the world title with Papa Pump and Sting, but I didn't want to derail that feud. Um, so it is what it is. I think Sting versus Steiner alone will go down better. Okay, extreme male. Not a bad rating for Thunder. Evan Courageous thinks he should be higher up the card. Uh, Kaz and Yang work well together, and I should hope so, because they form a team together, and they have done for a very long time, called Young Dragons. Now let's just see. Unhappy Workers. Now before the last show, Goldberg was at 16% morale. He's the same now, so at least he's not gone down. Um, and on the upcoming uh, TV shows, I'm just going to have to uh, give him at least one to two segments a show and see how we get on. But if it doesn't go up, we're, we're going to have a few problems there. Okay. Smackdown. Yeah. There we have it. So, next video, we will be back for Greed. 2001, 11th of March.